I'm looking at myself. It's as if I'm looking at many different people. I can see my physical body, but also several other bodies. At one point, it, seems, it seemed that they were all in a circle, but separate. I feel I'm in a very special energy area. I want to explore to see where I am. I'm in a room with a dome. I can hear the words, follow me. I don't see who said this, but there must be someone. I hear, step up on the platform. There's a type of runway up to a platform. Something seems to be opening up. I'm going through an opening and am, am in a hallway. I don't see anyone, but I feel that there are many people around somewhere. No, so, someone is coming. now someone is coming into my field of vision. Someone I've met before. It's a tall, stately gentleman, and I just realized that he was one of the faces I saw earlier. I say gentleman, but this person isn't really a male. Anyway, this tall being is coming down a pathway of light and is wearing a brilliant robe. It's embroidered with light forms of different kinds. His head is all long, with a very high forehead. He doesn't seem to have much hair. There's something around his head. I'm not sure what it is. It's not a cap, but it's some type of instrument. Now he's coming up to me. Without words, I can perceive that he is saying, Welcome back. We have much work to do together. I appreciate your trust and the fact that you follow instructions carefully. He is turning and indicating, Follow me. Now we're walking down the lighted way together. I shouldn't say walking because we seem to be floating. Everything is in movement, including the robe he has on. I can see live vibrations in everything. In fact, the colors in his robe change. There are different patterns as they change. Now the color of the instrument on his head is changing. It was plain when I first noticed it without color, but as he sends thoughts, colors seem to flash from the instrument. Now we've come to a different area, one I haven't seen been into before. It's also plain, almost silver gray in color, and there doesn't seem to be much in it. He has walked over to a type of desk and is starting to look through a large book. He has his back to me, and I perceive that he is saying, make yourself comfortable. So I'm looking around, trying to see what's, what's here. There's a large eye-like device that I've seen before. It's not turned on. As I walk around, I see a roll of circular windows all the way around the room. This is a dome, but very plain. In the center is a table for lying or sitting. There is also a box with sound coming out of it. Beep, beep, beep sounds. Each time I hear the sound, a light on the box changes color. I just received the thought that I'm to call my companion Zomar. I don't know what Zomar is, is doing with the book. He's looking through it very rapidly as if he's searching for something. Now he's stopped at a page and is going down it with his finger. I sense that this is a book of all the galaxies. He's looking up something that has to do with planet Earth. I call it a book, but it's more like a glowing energy. He's trying to find some formula that relates to planet Earth. Now he has gotten up and gone over to a kind of energy box. He's waving his hand over it with certain motions, as if giving a combination. The eye-like instrument on the wall is now turned on. A purple beam is coming out from it. He's coming toward me, and I sense that he's saying, Now we can proceed in this investigation. He has indicated that I sit on the table. I, fear, I feel very light on it. I'm being turned around with the violet beam. The eye is coming to the back of my head, and I'm being given instructions to look at the screen. It's a strange feeling as if I'm watching this, standing aside and observing everything, while another part of me is sitting here. It's almost as if I'm split into two parts, one participating and the other observing. Zomar is grinning because I'm just now realizing the different dimensions that are a part of my existence. I'm aware that I'm more than one. He's telling me to relax and enjoy this experience, that it will be an experience of my lifetime. The color from the eye-like instrument has turned to blue. Zomar's robe and the whole room have turned blue. My head is feeling very large. There's such intensity in my head that I think I could get a headache. 
Something is penetrating right to the center of my brain. Now he wants me to put my head back and describe what I see taking place on the screen in front of me. The screen shows what I was doing today in Earth time. Everything is backing up in time. It's like a movie going backwards. I can see myself driving to the Institute. I can also see another dimension transposed over me. I'm rapidly going into another dimension and am shifting backwards in time. I can see all of this happening on the screen. This machine seems to tap into my brain waves. As Zomar moves his hands over the box, everything goes backwards. Every once in a while he stops. He's stopping at a time when I was 12 at Whippoorwill Hills, my Girl Scout camp, where I almost drowned in the swimming pool. He has stopped here for me to look at this experience. I'm struggling to get my breath. I hadn't thought of that incident for a long time. He has taken me back to points in my life at which I almost died. I'm having trouble breathing because now he has taken me back to the moment of my birth. I'm just coming out of the womb, struggling to get my breath. Oh, I feel the doctor's cold hands around me. He's taking my head and shoulders now, and his hands are cold. I can hear and see my Aunt Nellie asking, What is it? The doctor says, It's another buck, my maiden name. It's a girl. It's cold. I see my father standing there. Now they're finally putting me into a pan of warm water. That feels better. We're in a little bedroom at home. I can see my mother lying there breathing heavily. The doctor walks over to my mother and says, Well, this is your fifth child. You're pretty experienced by now. I recognize my Aunt Nellie. I am such a little thing. I see myself standing outside of my body observing this. I can see two, two parts of myself. I haven't even come fully into the body. I'm in my body but also observing, just as I was doing earlier. Now I'm observing myself observing. Now this is starting to fade. Everything is very dark on the screen. I think I'm in the womb. It's very dark but nice and warm in here. I'm floating around and it feels good, so comfortable. Now I'm going back further. I'm in a big hall, a special kind of place, but I'm not like it, but it's not like anything on earth. I'm getting instructions that it's time to go again. I see a description of the father and mother that I'm going to be with. There is a description that comes out of a kind of computer. But there's something more important. I'm getting a specialized lesson. Now I see myself with a special group of people. We're in a circle and are discussing the fact that I have some important emotional growth to go through. I have to go back into a situation with a lot of people, a lot of brothers and sisters, to learn patience. It's important for me to learn patience with myself and with other people. That is the main lesson I must learn on planet Earth. I can see my emotional self and my tendency to be hurt by what others say and think about me. I must learn not to be overly critical of others and myself. I need to learn the lesson of greater acceptance, soul acceptance, so to speak. It seems that my impatience comes out of the form of, uh, of over-criticism. I basically must learn love and have to start by loving myself. I'm being put into a situation of four brothers and three sisters to learn that there is plenty of love to go around. I'm agreeing that I'll be happy to go if this is the situation as the soul group sees it. This is my Earth Life Council meeting, made up of very perceptive and understanding souls. They say that there are several other possibilities, but this one seems to be the best. I'm at the point just before coming into the womb. They are showing me the experience of what it's like to come back into the Earth. I feel very light. Everything around me is very light. There's a beam coming down on me, and they're showing me what it's like for the soul to come into the womb. I perceive that I don't have to stay in the womb all the time. I can go in and out, even while the embryo is being formed. I can go into the fetus and out, at will, trying it on for size as it develops. The body can form and operate without my spirit being there. In fact, I am being shown that I can do this all through life. I'm free to roam wherever I like. It's my body and I'm in complete charge and can come and go as I like. 